Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. watching another fabulous video but first don't forget to subscribe to my channel and always press the notification button to let you know when I will be publishing a new video and also darlings don't forget to leave me a comment let me know what you think about my videos and what other type of videos you'd like me to make let's get to the video pink champagne kisses Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at the Southampton Arts Center, 
And I'm here with this young woman who's going to explain <laughs> to us what this like event is really all about. Uh, it, this is a panel of uh, artists that are in this wonderful show that East End collected, uh, curated by Patton Miller. And um, I, he hasn't told us what we're going to be speaking about, so <laughs> hopefully I'll be quick enough on my feet to answer his questions. But, okay. uh, now, tell my audience, there's four artists that are being featured at this event. Do you know who they are? I believe one um, of them is George Shulman because he invited us. Right, and I should know the names off the top of my head, but a lot of these artists are new to me. So that's what's really great about this show, actually, is that uh, Patton's introducing a lot of artists to one another from one end of the island to the other. Now, this is your 10th year anniversary, I, I believe. It. Am I right about that? It's Patton's 10th year anniversary, yes. Oh, He's the curator. So. so it's his. Is he here? He should be momentarily since he's leading the, uh, the uh, panel. Fabulous, fabulous. So we're going to see a lot of art and we're going to hear a lot of discussion about what this is all about today, with, including so. these four artists that will be representing their work. Right. I know uh, uh, George is here. Um, we'll talk to him. We will mm -hmm. definitely talk to him. Tell my audience where we can go to find out more information. What is the website? If you look on Southampton Art, art Center, uh, on the website there, you'll find out all about the events. I think they're going to be, there's going to be another curatorial tour. There's going to be another panel on the 18th of March. Um, oh, very so, nice. Yeah. Okay, okay. And your name again? Kellen Alder. Spell that? K-E-L-Y-N-N-A-L-D-E-R. Fabulous. Well, Let's do an air kiss. <laughs> And we'll be back with more interviews right here at Southampton Arts Center. Keep watching Pink Champagne Kisses. My name is Christina Strass, I'm the Executive Director of Southampton Arts Center. And I'm so pleased to welcome you all here this afternoon to our panel for East End Collected 7. I want to thank our sponsors, Plusters Appliances, and James Lane Cafe, uh, who is the media sponsor. I also want to let everyone know that we have a list of all the upcoming events for the South Asian Art Center in this little brochure that you can pick up on the way out. How many of you are members of the South Asian Art Center? Great. Well, if you're not a member, I really do hope that you can become a member because we're celebrating our 10th anniversary and we are here for community building through the arts. So we're supporting all the artists in the community and we really would appreciate if you could then uh, reach out and support us as well. How many of you follow us on social media? Great. Right. So we're trying to reach 10,000 followers on our Instagram account. So please tag your friends and encourage them to sign up because we'd love to have our social media go even further going forward. Um, without further ado, I want to introduce Pat Miller, who's an artist who I've known for 30 years, uh, a wonderful painter, a wonderful teacher, and a wonderful friend. So he's here. And um, I wasn't supposed to be on this panel, but I had such a great time with him, and he was so generous, he asked me to be on the panel. So I'm going to turn it over to Patton, who's going to introduce all of our artists. Hi, everyone. I'm going to turn this back over to Christina. <laughs> 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 um, th uh, thanks for coming. Um, we've been doing this now, for well, 10 years now, we've been um, uh, organizing these shows, and in the front, there is a history of how these shows got started. I urge you all to read it. But uh, it, it wasn't a, it wasn't um, it wasn't a done deal that this building would remain an art center after the Paris Art Museum uh, went to Waterloo. It was up in the air, and well, it happened. And, and ten years later, we've uh, these. This is the seventh show, and we've covered over 300 artists in the area. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willalane, and we are here at the Southampton Arts Center, and I'm here with artist George Schulman, and he invited me to this event today. Tell my audience a little bit about what we're going to be experiencing today. Well, this is a 10-year anniversary show, and Patton Miller, who just walked in, 
to the uh, museum uh, is here. Hi, Patton. And uh, he selected all of these artists, and, and it is, it's terrific because there must be at least 80, maybe 90 paintings here. I'm, 90 paintings? I'm, I'm overwhelmed with the amount of work that and art, it's gorgeous. Art and to put it together, and these are all East End, uh, fabulous New artists. New York artists, uh, some of whom I've I've been in shows with, but I've never met. So it, it's quite a nice experience because uh, when I first moved out to the island, I was in a show with a gal named Janet Colbertson, and here, uh, like 40 years. Almost 50 years later, we're in this show together, and it's like time has not uh, passed, except we've grown, and the work's grown, and we continue to do and it keeps do. And you keep evolving. You keep evolving, and, and you keep meeting new people. So it's, it's a wonderful experience, and uh, I'm thrilled to be involved with it. And actually, I have a piece in the show that actually took me 30 years in its making, called uh, To Whom the Bell Tolls, which is a painting that involves a uh, marionette that uh, was the uh, marionette of a puppeteer who actually had this marionette in uh, Auschwitz and, and uh, it saved his life because he entertained the German... Uh, the Nazi. Yes, and, and somehow this doll uh, made its way to the States, and I uh, got it like 40 years ago at an antique store as a gift, and I made about a couple of hundred paintings and drawings of it, and, and what occurred was I actually, to make this painting, uh, cannibalized and cut up other earlier paintings and reconstructed them uh, to do what's in this show. Fabulous. So, now, so. we're going to be listening to him in a little while, but before we do that, I want you to tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about your website. Where can we go? Uh, it's George Shulman Artist uh, at gmail.com, and you can pick up all the information and my bio and contact information. And, and see, actually, uh, about 35 years of different uh, sections and, and influences that occurred for me to become who I've become. Fabulous. Now, are you going to be talking at all, or is it just... Yes, I'll be, I'll be talking okay. today. I'll be on the panel. Okay, so we will be back with more interviews right here at the Southampton Arts Center. Let's do an air kiss, darling. Thank we'll you. We'll be back. Keep watching. More interviews coming up. Pink champagne kisses. Having been raised in the Bronx, uh, my father's mother saved me, and she was a uh, <coughs> maker of wedding dresses, and uh, my grandfather was a tailor, and uh, I was always immersed with uh, costumes and sewing and buttons and fabric, and that morphed into using uh, liquid shoe polish and uh, nail polish, which I like to use myself and occasionally walk around the house in a wedding dress and heels and my grandmother would say, if grandfather better not catch you in this fight. So I, I was always around uh, women and I was madly in love with the fact that they would dress and do whatever they were doing right in front of me as a, as a young child. And I was very precocious and, and could read uh, both Hebrew and English at an early age until time. And I bust uh, tables at a, a, a store called the Sugar Bowl next door to our house. So uh, I ran the counter and made ice cream cones and and, and, and the point to it is I had a very idyllic, charm, childlike, charmed life. I 
Red Canaries that I played with. And uh, that morphed into uh, going to a place called Saks Quality Stores uh, at the age of nine. And because I could read and tell time, uh, changed me was my uh, grandfather's sister's daughter, Frida Diamond, was the originator of color coordinates. Uh, and she was the Martha Stewart of her era. And she used to have me on the weekends. And her sister, Ida, his, uh, her husband, uh, Phil Stern, wrote It's a Wonderful Life. And uh, the point to all this is Jimmy Stewart and Agnes Moore had used to babysit me when I was at Frieda's. Uh, so I was around art, and Frieda had Picasso and Chagall and, and uh, Max Weber and Diego Rivera, the real, the real thing in her home. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Paul Lane, and we are here at the Southampton Art Center. And I am here with the gentleman that organized this event today. He is a very famous artist. Introduce yourself to the camera. Uh, Patton, <coughs> Patton Miller. Uh, tell my audience about this event today. I understand that this is in existence for 10 years, the Southampton Art Center. Um. Yes, uh, 10 years ago, the Southampton Art Center was, uh, well, it was the Parish Art Museum, and, it, and the Parish moved to Watermill, and it was decided to turn this building into an art center, and I happened to be at the Think Tank dinner, uh, where we were all dis discussing ideas, and I said, in order to survive as an art center, you have to be loved, and not to be all kumbaya about it, but I really mean that. You have to reflect the community you're in, and a couple of months later, they said, we like your idea, do the show. So I thought it would be a one-time show, a one-and-done show. But the, first, the, first, the opening night, we had a packed house, just as we just did for this one. This is amazing, this event today, amazing. Well, today, you should have been here at the opening. On February 12th, over 700 people came. Wow. Um, so the, sh the, sh the show is successful because it's reflecting the area, and this area is profoundly stacked with artists. I've covered, I personally have curated 300 artists in this show. How did you find these particular artists that were, uh, that were on the panel today? I've been living here since 1974, 45, almost 50 years, so I, I, know, I know almost all of them. Sometimes I meet new artists by going to a show. Um, it's, it's, it's sort of an organic process and it happens uh, there's a lot of happenstance involved, but a lot of these artists are professional artists who I've exhibited with myself. And I often, I often ask, come a little closer, I often ask the artists out here what is so special about the Hamptons, and they always tell me it's the lighting. Well, no, I don't, I don't agree with that. There's good lighting everywhere. Everywhere you can open your eyes and see light is beautiful. Um, it's, it's the community. The community is close to New York. The proximity to a large art market like that is unique um, and artists need to be in a place where they're recognized as not being weirdos or something um, and they're appreciated. As I said before, artists are performance artists. We need to exhibit our work and we need to have an audience to exhibit it too. Um, so in that way, this place is uh, very unique. Tell my audience where we could go to find out more information. What is the website? Uh, the Southampton Arts Center is uh, located at 25 Jobs Lane, Southampton. And if you just t t type in Southampton Arts Center, you'll be directed to their website. Fabulous. Thank you so much for that fabulous interview. Let's do an air kiss. My, my pleasure. Fabulous. Bye. We'll be back with more interviews right here at Cognac's Corner Magazine. Keep watching, dogs. Big champagne kisses. explains everything about art for me in terms of uh, when you're looking at something it is not always what you think you're seeing um, and um, like the train coming out of the fireplace uh, 
you know, it's exactly that sound is what you think of. But this is not a pipe, which is in French, exactly well. It's it's actually telling you what you're seeing and what you're not seeing in words on a picture. That's like your work. Yes. I have questions about that later on. Well, I had a very supportive uh, mother, especially my mom. My father went along with anything that she uh, said. So um, I went to art school from about the age of nine in the city. I lived in Queens. I grew up in Queens, and I took the a bus and a train to uh, an art school called Pals on 72nd Street, I think it was. And I was the only child in the school, with um, uh, just filled with old men. Um, and um, my mom had art in the house. She overheard the uh, bed in the master bedroom. There was Le Journal by um, Miro, and um, with lots of Picasso prints and different um, artists and African um, ebony busts on the coffee table. And she really uh, pushed me into knowing who I was as an artist. This is not a pipe, which is in French, Exactly. Well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's it's actually telling you what you're seeing and what you're not seeing in words on a picture. That's like your work. Yes. Like I have questions about that later on. We have to wait. Right. <laughs> Kelly. Well, I, I think if you ask me this question tomorrow, I'll answer it. <laughs> No, you gotta go there are too many ones, but um, yeah. James Carey Marshall is the first painter that comes to mind. Um, maybe the barber shop. Many of his paintings, I like the social commentary of his work, but that's that really beautiful too. I like to think I know a lot about art history, but I'm not familiar with this name. What? Yeah, sorry, I'm sure I leave. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, to get that name, which everybody's been trying to hack, but they can't because well, I'm number one. You're number one, and I want to <laughs> thank you for this fabulous interview. Let's do an air kiss. And we'll be back, darlings, with more interviews coming up right here at Cognac's Corner Magazine. Pink champagne kisses. Thank you. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. dressed to impress one of a kind girl I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne wearing fur dazzling diamond jewelry a girl can't complain I live in upscale life dining in the finest restaurants eating the best caviar for free and no matter how much I eat cognac ooh ooh I said cognac ooh 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 this has been a crybaby productions darlings